Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be reacting to Mumbo Jumbo, um, it's still compilations, and if it's really cool, because we're going to try them out and see how good they are and see if they're actually fake, how complicated they are, or if we can actually pull it off. So, let's get into the video. Fairly complicated redstone contraptions, which is interesting for those of you who understand fairly complicated redstone contraptions. But if you don't understand fairly complicated redstone contraptions, then the entire process could be fairly confusing. Now, don't get me wrong, you can be fairly confused and also fairly interested at the same time, Stop but you would be more fairly. interested if you were less confused, and that's where this video hopefully comes in. I do believe this is the most confusing start to a non-confusing video I've ever made. In this video, I'm yeah. going to be running through 20 different redstone circuits and redstone contraptions that I personally Holy think are incredibly crap. useful and think that every single Minecraft player should know. Circuit number one, the auto item dropper. Anyone who watches the Hermitcraft series will be very familiar with these things. Essentially, they automatically detect when the dropper is filled with items, making use of this comparator right here. And then this little redstone circuit creates a redstone clock with this piece of redstone dust powering the dropper causing it to gradually spit out its items. And when it's empty, all of the redstone clocks turn off. Now this is useful for automatic farming systems, sorting systems, item elevators, basically anywhere where you're transporting items, these things come in hand. Okay. This design is really cheap, consisting of three pieces of redstone dust, yeah, a comparator, a repeater, a dropper, and then a handful of building blocks. And of course, you don't have yeah. to place your items directly into the dropper. You can run items in via hopper lines on any of the sides of the dropper. Next up, we've got the redstone okay. lamp button panel. This is a circuit that I like to use inside of my base Ooh. to activate various areas of my base and have an yeah, indicator nice. as to which parts are actually activated. So for example, down here, we have item frames that in theory correspond to various different farms. Currently our melon farm is activated. If I hit this button then that will activate our sugarcane farm cool. and that redstone lamp turns on. If I hit this button that turns on the bamboo farm. If I hit this button again you can see that the redstone lamp switches off suggesting I've turned off the sugarcane farm. Now this is achieved through the use of one wide tileable T flip flops. Now to quickly break that down, one wide of course means the actual circuit itself is one block wide. Tileable means okay. you can stack them next to one another. Here I have three, but you can have as many of these as you want, or just piled up next to one another. And then T flip flop is short for toggleable flip flop. So when I hit this button, okay. we're sending a pulse into the circuit, but that pulse is being converted into a toggle. So currently we have toggled it off, and then if I hit the button again, we toggle it back on. Now what we're doing with this circuit, the only thing that makes this special is not only are we taking an output out the back that we can send off to the various farms or whatever we're running this into, but we're also running an output back into the redstone lamp so we have a clear indicator as to when the toggleable flip-flop is toggled on or toggled off. And yes, yeah, we could see. just use levers in this situation, mm -hmm. but that is nowhere near as cool. The key card reader. Know, if you've ever wanted to make a part of your Ooh, base a little bit more secure, then this is probably one of the best ways of well, doing it. Inside this dropper right here, I've got my specific key card. If I put any other item inside of this thing, you can see it doesn't go through. There's absolutely no redstone output. The only way that we can get a redstone output through this circuit is if we put the correct key card in, and that has to be the right it's item and also the right no, name yes, for the correct. item. So there are a huge it's number correct. of possible combinations here, like more than there are stars in the universe. You'd have to be incredibly lucky to guess it correctly, unless... They're trying to work out mine, in which case it's incredibly predictable. The way that the whole thing works is out the bank, we've got ourselves an item filter, which only accepts these subscribe to Mumbo items. So if I try and shift click any of these items in, none of them are going into the hopper. The only one that can is that specific item. And this dropper is essentially doing that. So if I place any old item inside here, when I hit this button, that dropper tries to shoot the item into the hopper and it can't because there's no space for it. So nothing happens. The only time that something can happen is when the correct key card gets sent into the system. Circuit number four, the hopper minecart loading station. This circuit is useful for transporting large quantities of items and also... No, wait, 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 go back. Yeah. No, no, no. Tries to shoot the item in no, into the I'm hopper not. and it can't because... Nice, um there's no space for it so nothing happens <sighs> let's, let's try to do this okay 
Subscribe.